Hello everybody, welcome to another Build Fly Go video. We're going to see if I can uh, record a instrument approach here and how I go about doing them in this airplane. Um, this is not instruction, don't do this at home if you're not uh, instrument rated or qualified or etc etc. Uh, be safe. Alright folks, there's not going to be ter terribly much voiceover on this video. Um, we're just going to go through the procedures. I'm going to call out some of the things that I'm doing. Um, and you're going to hear ATC uh, talking to me and other aircraft. Uh, we'll fast forward through all of the ground stuff and uh, get in the air and do one, uh, one approach to landing at Madison, uh, the ILS runway 18. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I set up, let me go back, um, because I already know where I'm going, I set procedure, I set an approach procedure, the airport is Madison, I picked ILS 18, because that's what I asked for first, he's going to give us vectors, because it's controlled uh, airspace, and I didn't specifically ask for the full procedure, let's just do vectors today, and I hit load approach and activate, and GPS guidance, because it's using GPS to guide me onto the final approach course. Victor, wind 2206, turn right, heading 270, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Right, 270, 21, clear for takeoff. Alright, Victor. Alright, gas, undercarriage, mixture, boost, flaps, trim. Power. Airspeed's alive. Fuel flow, fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temp, CHT, UGT, 60 knots, rotate. Gorgeous day. Madison Tower here is Niner 3 Key Tango Alpha, 13 miles south. Inbound uh, for the visual 2 1. Niner 3 Key Tango Alpha, Madison Tower, wind 2205, runway 2 1, clear to land. Clear to land, 2 1, Tango Alpha. Turn land, Romeo Victor, contact departure. Departure, good day, Niner Fisher. Departure, experimental 6, 8, Niner Romeo Victor, 2103. Three four zero and uh, we'll go miss and uh, do another one. Uh, about three thousand I've got that traffic inside. Three four zero and we'll go miss and Oh, nice to go to 7.9. Uh, it'll be above the uh, class C, and the point is about three miles northeast of Madison Airport. We'll be doing north and south tracks from there at 7.9. Right. Uh, Thank 
Victor is three miles from rookie turn exiting 160, maintain via 5 south, maintain 1-8 approach. Right, 160, maintain via 5 clear, ILS 1-8 approach, 6 Victor. Alright, we're clear, so I'm going to hit the approach button. We're going to fly the approach, autopilot is engaged, and it will capture and fly the approach. We're just outside rookie. It's coming in. See the autopilot's going to start turning us in. Yep. Capturing the localizer. There's the rectangles. Okay. 
I switched from these, the lines and the rectangles used to be magenta and now they're green. That means oh, we're, guard, proceed, uh, we're using guard, um, uh, departure with the glide slope and ILS instead of the GPS for, uh, for the navigation here. On the screen, it's still GPS based. There's still magenta there, but the, the, the CDI, if you will, seeing 270 at 1, 2. So we're turning into the wind a little bit.
Alright, we're 100 above minimums. My airplane, autopilot's off. We're also a smidge high. Okay. Minimums continue. Smidge no low now. But runway's in sight and airport's made. I'm slowing our slowing us down here so that we're not floating over the runway. And I know I'm low, but uh, I'm over the runway already. I don't do this in actual instrument. I fly the <laughs> the glide slope. Thanks everybody for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. More videos to come.